There had to be something so historic, something so mind-boggling, something so non-flesh and blood, something you couldn't get from the rabbis, something Caiaphas and Annas couldn't give you. This was a moment in history that we've watered down to a ritual once a year in June. This was the most momentous, dynamic, history-breaking, fullness of time manifestation. The ascended Christ poured out his spirit, and when his spirit hit the temple those 120 they were drunk and 2,000 years later we've become so dignified we've become nice we've become pretty because we don't want to offend the culture the culture didn't die for me the culture didn't cleanse me from my sin the culture didn't rid me of demonic oppression. The culture didn't give me my vision back. I got it back by a revelation from the Son of God. And His Spirit is still breaking yokes. His Spirit is still setting captives free. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. We are getting ready to go to another dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and power. The future belongs to the tongue talkers. The future belongs to the charismatics. The future belongs to the folk you think are drunk and excessive. The future belongs to the Pentecostals. The future doesn't belong to people that sit in their ivory palaces and pontificate over who's right and who's wrong in the name of something called moralism because they forgot the gospel. We are not heretics. We are the heirs of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And God is getting ready to do it again. And we are not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation.